Hello and welcome dear student. We are here to explain another subject in chapter 2, section 5. So in the previous class we have explained how to factorize by common factor. Uh, today is factorizing or factoring by using special identities, page 68. The first part we have is uh, perfect square trinomial. So how can we or how to recognize perfect square trinomial? It has three properties to recognize perfect square trinomial. The first one, it consists of three terms. When you say trinomial, three means three, when, while by means two. So trinomial, it means it has or is, it consists of three terms. This is the first condition. The second one says, First and third terms are perfect square and positive. First and third terms are positive and also they are perfect square. Here x has power 2, it's perfect square. 9 is perfect square because it comes from 3 times 3. This is the second condition or second property. The third one says... The middle term is 2 times the factor of the first term and the second term. We have explained in the previous clause. It says the middle term is multiplication of 2 times. The first term is 9, but it comes from 3 times 3. Then 2 times 3, 6 times x. So it's going to be 6x. The middle term is 2 times the factor of the first term and the second term. This is the way we recognize the perfect square trinomial. So as we see here, it says determine if each expression is a perfect square trinomial. If so, factorize it. If not, explain it. So it says check each example if they are perfect square trinomial. If they are perfect square trinomial, we have to factorize it. Then, how to do it? Here, we have x squared minus 12x plus 36. For the perfect square trinomial, we had three, we had three conditions. The first one, it says it consists of three terms. One, two, three. So the first one is correct. Then the second one, it says first and the third term are perfect square. Of course, they are perfect square. Then, it says the middle term is two times the factor of the first and the second. The third, sorry. Okay, two times six is 12 x. You can see that it is of x. That's why it is that's why it is perfect square trinomial. Perfect square trinomial. Then how to factorize it? How to factorize it? It's quite easy. To factorize it, open a bracket. Okay. We just pay attention to the first term and the third term. The first term is x because we have minus here, write down minus. If you have plus, we will write plus. Okay, so it is minus, write down minus. 36, okay, the factor of 36 is 6 times 6, so write down 6 here. Okay, x squared, write down x is 36, write down 6, and do not forget to write down power 2 over the Parenthesis. Example B. Is it perfect square trinomial? So first, it consists of three terms. Second, it says the first term and the third term are perfect square. Of course, they are perfect square. And the middle term is the multiplication of the factor of the first one and the third one. So. 2 times 2 is 4x 
times 3 is 12x, so it is true, it is perfect square trinomial. Then how to factorize it? Write a parenthesis, because we have minus here, write down, minus. In the first term, I told you, pay attention to the first and the second. We have 4, then write down to x. We have 9, write down 3. Do not forget to write power 2 over the parenthesis. This is the way we factorize it. Then, example C. Is it perfect square trinomial? Let's test it. The first one. Is it consists of three terms? Yes, of course. Then, the first term and the second term are, are perfect square and also they are positive. So the second one is applied. What about this, the, the third condition? It says for the middle term, two times, okay, a factor of the factor of the first term times the factor of the third term. Two times two, four, four times one is four x. So is the middle term four x? No, so it is not perfect square trinomial. Then, for example, D, first condition, as it consists of three terms, yes. Is the first and the third term are perfect square and positive? No. They are perfect square, but they are not positive. This one's positive, the other one's negative, so it's not perfect square. Three number. Then, Again, we have difference of two squares. We explained that in the previous subject. We said that difference of two squares in mathematics, difference means minus or subtraction. Subtraction of what? Of two squares. It means we have two squares, okay, then they have been subtracted we have minus between them okay only minus not plus if you have let's say y square plus 9 you cannot say this is the difference of two squares this is the sum of two squares it's not difference of two squares difference means minus okay then how to factorize it's really important how to factorize difference of two squares then We have x squared minus 16. This one's perfect square, perfect square, and also we have minus. That's why we can say it is difference of two squares. How to factorize it? It's quite easy. Always open two brackets, positive, negative. Or you can say negative, positive, no difference. Okay? We have x and x. 16 is 4 times 4. Next example, we have 9x squared minus 36. 9x squared, that's square, and also 36 is perfect square. Then we have minus between them. That's why we can say it is difference of two squares. To factorize it, open two bracket, plus, minus, or minus, plus. 3x, 3x, because we have 9x squared. Then the factors of uh, 36 is 6 times 6. This is how we factorize difference of two squares. Then we have 9x squared minus 81. It is difference of two squares. It's really important, in, let's say, all the examples to recognize them. We have minus x squared, perfect square, perfect square. Open two bracket. Minus, plus, negative, positive, x, x, 9 times 9. Open two bracket, okay, and it's, it is perfect, let's say, difference of two squares, 4p, 4p, minus, plus, 36 is 6 times 6. Okay, example C and D are different because we have, let's say, 
more than 2. It's power 4. How to solve it? It's, it's difference of 2 squares. Maybe you ask that question why it is difference of 2 squares. Because we can write x power 4 as x power 2 power 2. Okay? Raising powers minus h1. Isn't it difference of two squares? We have h1 is perfect square, this one's perfect square, and we have minus. To factorize it, minus plus. The first term we have x square, x square, okay, h1 is 9 times 9. And example D, again we have 9 for the P we can say 2 power 2 raising power minus 16 Q power 2. So open two brackets because it is difference of two squares. Here we have for the 9 it is 3P square minus 3P square plus 16 is 4Q 4Q so this is the solution this is not 49 be careful this is Q 4Q what about example D example D it's not difference of two squares okay the first term this one square okay but 10 is not perfect square that's why here in this subject you cannot so uh, let's say factorize it so we have not too many questions factorize 25 m square minus 16 n square so it is it is difference of two squares difference of two squares so here open two brackets okay in the first there we have 5m 5m in the second one write down minus plus 4n 4n so the answer is 5m minus 4n 5m plus 4n question two again we have difference of two squares it's going to be y minus 7 y plus 7 so the answer is C question 3 it says which expression is equal to 4x plus 10 I think we solved this question in the previous subject open the bracket okay we pay attention we let's say check the first term and the second one it's positive positive write down positive okay 4x squared is going to be 2x 25 is 5 but do not forget to write down power 2 over the parentheses so the solution is 2x plus 5 power 2 it is b then question 4 it says which expression again is equal to 4x minus 12x 4x squared minus 12x plus 9 Again, open a bracket because we have minus, y down minus. 4x is, is 2x, 9 is 3 times 3, so power 2. The answer is 4, 2x plus 3 power 2. But, uh, sorry, it is minus. Because you have minus, we must write minus, so the answer is b. Then question five is uh, one of the important question. It says sixteen x square minus b x plus twenty five is a perfect square. What is the value of b? It means instead of b, what number can you write? Is it, is it four, five, twenty, or fourteen? It's a middle term. How to find middle term? We said that the middle term is 2 times the factor of the first one times the factor of the second one. 
the factor of 25 is 5, the factor of 16 is 4x, so 2 times 4x is 8x times 5, it's going to be 40x. So that's why instead of B, the correct answer is D, we must write 40. Question 6, we have 16x squared minus 14, minus 40x plus M. What is the value or what's the value of M? The value of M. It's the same question, but we have to know how to find it. Okay? It is 2 times the factor of, say, uh, 16 is 4x is equal 40. Okay? 2 times 4 is 8. 8 times 1 number is going to be 40 times 5. So the third term is 5. 5 power 2 is going to be 25. So the value of M is 5. Let's repeat it. Here it says find the value of M. M is the third term. You know that the third term is power 2. So this one is 4. Then 2 times 4, it's going to be 8. 8 times 1 number is going to be 40. 8 times 5. So this one must be 5. But the third term is square. Then it's going to be 25. The last question, question 7, again says find the missing term here. The missing term is the first one and it must be square. So how to find it? The factor of the third term is 9. So 2 times 9 is equal 18. So 18 times what number is going to be 36? It's times 2. So this term it must be 2 power 2 is going to be 4x squared. So the correct answer is C, 4x squared. So dear students, this is the end of the, our class. Thank you so much. I hope you have a great day.